Young lady, tell your father that we are not running a charitable organization here. You will only sit for this examination if your fees are paid. Good day. Excuse me, sir. The money they give to me got lost on my way to school last week. And since then, I've been looking for it. Up till now, I'm still looking for it. Please, sir. I will allow you to sit for exam. They come to my office in the exam server, okay? Okay. Um, Vice Principal, Sir. please let her in. Sir, I know what you are saying. And you, what is it? If I allow you to sit for this exam, do you promise to come and cook and dinner for me in my house now that my wife traveled? What do you say? Sorry, I can't. Now, get out of this class. Get out. I said, leave this place. Sir, sir. Get out. Leave this hall. Um, madam, you can continue with the examination. out of the exam hall. My principal. Why? Why did you out of the exam hall? Because I'm not paying my school fees. And my exam fees. How much are the fees? <laughs> so it is eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Um, okay, don't cry anymore, huh? Let's go to your school. Sir? Let's go back to your school. We just might be lucky and meet them in time enough for you to still take the exam today. <laughs> but, sir. Come on, let's go. You say it's 11,000 euro, right? Huh? Yeah. Let's go.
hope it's not too late for this young lady to pay her school fees and still join her classmates in the exam hall today. Not at all. The exam began 30 minutes ago. But the moment she pays, we will grant her extra 30 minutes to enable her meet up. Okay, please do that. I'll be much obliged to you. Um, it's 11 Uh, here is 11,000 Naira to cover her tuition and exam fee. That is good, but we don't receive cash in this office. So you have to go to the boss's office and pay and obtain a receipt which you will present to the exam supervisor. That's the routine here. Okay, okay I'll do that right away, but um, that seems to be a long process and I know it will eat into her examination time. I was wondering, would you mind giving her a written authorization to go ahead and do the exam while I go and see the bossa? I'll gladly do that to make sure she needs one. Oh, thank you very much. Me my name. Anyway, at the end of the day, he gave me his complimentary card and I went straight into the exam hall. Hey, sad was it? God has not forgotten his own creatures. Eh? Thank you. You said he gave you his complimentary yes, card. Yes, yes. Hey, bring it now. At least let us call him and thank him. Oh. Since we don't have any material thing to give to him. He didn't even look at me like, you know, with the eyes of a man who wants a woman. Just, you're just so kind. Mm. Look for it here. I can't find it too. Look carefully. Look, look inside your books. I'm sure it's there. Mm. It's not here. Yeah, I put it in my bag. Oh, don't. It's okay. Don't work yourself up, okay? eh? When you go and eat and rest, then you take your time and look for it. Because nothing good is ever found in a hurry. Mm, which one is nothing good comes in a hurry? I said I can't find a hand. <sighs> okay. If you had come into the streets looking for that uh, uh, ga ga Gaio. hair, if you had gone into the streets of the town, ringing your bell, looking for somebody to help you. Do you think that that chaos would have been there? I don't think there's anybody like chaos. Oh. You see what I mean? Hmm? <sighs> Mommy, are you okay? Mm -hmm. How is your waist doing? Worse. It's so painful. I, this thing has turned me into an old woman. I can't even fend for myself anymore. Mommy, don't worry, okay? God is in control, as you can see. And... Mm. Maybe I'll massage your wrist. I 
I am now the senior fitness instructor. <laughs> I offered somebody help today. A ah, young girl. Come on. That's doing God's job. It should make you happy. A very pretty and dark young girl. She reminded me so much of my late sister, Chioma. You know, sometimes I wonder why my only sister died when I had no money. I wonder why Chioma died at a time when I wasn't in a position to offer any drop of help. Oh, come on. Come on, Gaius, you see, you helped this girl on your own because she reminds you of your late sister, isn't it? Exactly. I saw her sitting by the roadside, tears in her eyes. The same way I found Chioma by the roadside with tears in her eyes just before she died as a result of the abortion she committed. Oh, come on, don't talk about old memories. It's only going to worsen the situation. Listen, I have... Come on, let me just... You should be happy to be with me, man. You should be happy with me. I am promoted. I just come on, drink. You should be happy with me, man. Drink! Come on! I just drink a little because Come of your on. promotion. Yeah, Gaius, drink. <laughs> Woo! Gaius, my man, man. Guess what? It's happening in the gym today. We have an aerobic session and a lot of babes in the gym today. <laughs> I bought something. Come on, result is very good and you have made me proud thank you you know at times like this I wish your father were still alive don't rest in song amen what about that man that man that helped you five months ago have you seen him since then? Hmm. Gaius. Not seen him. Mom, if not for him, this result would never have been. Never. But uh, did you find his card? No. Up till now. And maybe if I had found it, I could. It might be too much to ask him to. Buy me jam forms and probably assist me in my university education after what he did for me. We don't know, my child. We can't tell. There's no art to read the turnings and workings of a heart that is kind. Well, mm -hmm. still, I didn't find the card. But I have a friend of mine. Um, her son has a um, 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 dry cleaning outfit. 
I don't know if I give you a letter to him. I'm sure he'll be able to give you a job. At least that way you'll be busy, you know. Instead of just um, staying home. What do you think? Right? Mm. You've made me proud. Mm. Well, mommy, I did better in geography. You <laughs> took it from me. The result is still good. for the good conduct of your mother, which I presume has rubbed off on you. So, we will employ you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. When, when do I start? Uh, today is Friday. You can resume on Monday. Monday, I, I will. Thank the you. The personnel manager will give you Details of your package and job analysis. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, money. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to yes, the center. Thank you. This ended week. No, oh, fine. And I can see you're working out as usual. Oh, God. What else can a guy do? Build his muscles. Oh, Umbra, sometimes when I look at your chest, I get so scared. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, God. at the same time, it gives me security, you know, with my fiance around and you around in the house. So. Uh, you know, now, with a guy like me in the house, what else do you think will go wrong? No shaking, baby. No shaking. <laughs> Where's my sweetheart? Ah, uh, I suppose he's asleep. But you know now, you can always go in, wake him up. What do you mean by that? I'm going in there to You are the mama in the house now. <laughs> Mom, see. <laughs> hey, come on, let's go. How was my picture removed from this place and replaced with another picture? Why? Jamila, this is Choma's picture, my sister's picture, not another one. You want to tell me that my picture that was left that doesn't deserve to be left alone? Eh? Jamila, I see you all the time. You see me, you stay with me, you feel me. It's not the same with my late little sister. We are parted forever. All I have left are memories and, and, and pictures. Girls, I know that. Tell me something else. Look, Jamila, this week makes it five years since my sister died. Placing her picture here as the only female picture in this room is my own little way of honoring her. That is all. Girls, I appreciate the fact that you miss your dead sister dearly. I appreciate it. But removing my picture from this place and replacing her with her own shows a sign of disrespect. And I should think you, 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 you're taking me for granted and I do not like it! Jamila, you're wrong. You mean everything to me and you know it. Then remove the picture! No, not until Sunday. What? Oh, guys, you drive me crazy! Not out of... until what? You just made me sick! You made me sick! What the hell did you do that for? 
for? What's the matter with you? Are that you mad? What? Who gave you the right? What right? My friend, get out. Give me. I said. Yes, give me no. What's the matter with you? What happened today? A what? miracle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me. A customer bought some brought some clothes for washing. After searching the pockets in case of valuables, yeah. guess what I found? A hundred dollar bill. Mommy, much better than that. Guys, it's complimentary card, mommy. Can you believe it? Incredible. <laughs> After all these months, mommy, six months. <sighs> Tell you, that's not all. I called him. I called him immediately. And he was so happy to hear from me. I'm having dinner with him at his house, Friday. Just like that? Just like that. I was so happy he hadn't forgotten me at all. And aside from that, he was eager to know if I had any problems. So, I'm going to... Jai! But, Miriam... Miriam... Yes, I, I know you're quite happy with this re-established contact with Gaius. But uh, this dinner you're having in his place, I, I don't feel too comfortable with it. You know, no, 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 listen, I'm not saying he's not a good fellow. But you know men, they, they have two sides to their nature. You have to be I'll careful. be careful, mommy. 
I'll be careful, promise. You promise? Now, keep this card very well, okay? Can you believe it? It's, it's... It was just meant to be. I was meant to see him. I knew I'm seeing him. See, I'm not complaining, okay? It, it's just that this is the worst weekend I've ever had to spend in your house. Even when I try to make you laugh, I try so much to make you happy. All I see is a tight face. I know you're trying to hide it. Look, see that, look, I know I've, I've, I've wronged you, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, please. Please forgive me, please. Please. Honey, see, if you don't forgive me now, you're going to ruin my entire week. And I, I, I know you don't want to do that. Please. Honey, please, I beg you from the depth of my heart, I'm very sorry. Please. I don't know what you were trying to do, Jamila. Certainly, you're not struggling over the ownership of my heart with Chioma. She's just a dead sister that I wish were alive. That I miss so much. What do you say? I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't know why I did what I did. Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Please, I want to hurt you again. I'm so sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. Please. <laughs> when you speak with such a cooing voice and then you look at me like that, what do you want me to say? You're yeah, forgiven. What? Come here, give me oh, a Thank you, <laughs> darling. Thank you so much. Ah, yes. Now I'm so happy. Baby, do you know what? You've just saved a soul. Okay. Ah, I'm so happy. Thank you, okay? You're an angel. That's why I said you're an angel, you know. Okay, now, um, I have to go and get my things ready. I have to go back home to my place, okay, to get ready for tomorrow's job, okay? okay? No problem, since you've refused to move into my apartment. Who? Who? Me? Refuse to move into your house? Hell no! You refuse no. to move in with me? No! Honey, me! Refuse to move into your house? It's not possible. Why would I refuse to move in with you? Honey, look. For what? I... Okay, see, let me tell you a story, okay? It's like this, you know, if I move into your house right now, I will now look like some living lover. And you know, it's so boring, it takes the excitement away, all the suspense out of marriage. It, it, and it will become so boring. And I don't want that to happen to my darling husband. Okay. You know you're so special to me. Sweetie, listen. Okay, you will. When, when we get married properly, okay? Ha! Baby, I am going to pack my father's house, everything to broom, everything and land in my husband's house. Trust the girl. You win. I yes! <laughs> <laughs> Let me drop you off, huh? Uh, no, 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 no. My angel is not moving one inch out of this place. The only three things you're going to do for me, you're going to sleep or wake up and eat. I have prepared enough food and stopped the freezer with it to last you and Tumbra for one week. So, that is just what you're going to do for me. Okay. Um, that reminds me, talking about food, I... I invited somebody over for dinner this evening. Um, not again. Anybody I know? 
Uh, just a young lady. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. You didn't just see the look on your face. <laughs> Listen, it's just um, somebody I helped out of a problem in the past. She re-established contact with me the other day and I invited her over to the house. Just that. Just that. You don't believe me? 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 Don't believe you? Uh, no. Me? Oh, look at the smile on my face. <laughs> I believe you. Come on, I believe you. I'm serious, okay? How do I do? Okay. And look, it's just that I'm not going to be around to meet the girl and all that. You know, I'll be so busy at home. I believe you. From the depth of my heart, I do believe you. Okay. No problem. You'll always meet her. Okay. Okay. You look gorgeous. I could eat you. you know? Oh, you're making me blush. For black girl, you're making me blush. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Come eat in. me up. <laughs> oh, you. Honey, you are so perfect. You're perfect. And I love you so much. Okay? You're looking so beautiful. How are Thank you, Marianne? Fine. You're welcome. Thank you. I was in the kitchen. Uh, dinner was on the served. Huh? <laughs> What's doing in the kitchen? You cook? Of course. My, yeah, nice. my mother taught me everything. Mm. Well, you just sit down. Uh, um, I'll get you a drink, then I'll soon be through in the kitchen. No. Uh, I'd rather join you in the kitchen. I just sit here and do nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tombra. Yeah, you can use. Did you see that? I hope you saw that. That is how a good girl should behave. Rather, you prefer to sit down here, open your big mouth, open your big mouth, and wait for a man to cook for you. <laughs> Why would she cook? Or am I in a class? Come on, shut up your mouth. Shut up your trap.
Four alphas and four credits and it passes geography. But there was no money to further my education immediately, so I just settled for a job in um, some dry cleaning outfits where I get paid six thousand naira a month. Are you happy? I mean, are you fulfilled in your work? Happy. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, thank God I worked there. I mean, there was no way I'd have stumbled over your card if not I was working there in the first place. But fulfilled I'm not. I'm not because I want more out of life than just being a collection lady in some dry cleaner's outfit. What will make you feel fulfilled in life? School. I want to further my education. Um, I want to go to the university, come out, and, you know, generally take what's mine from the world. You're ambitious. Yes, I'm ambitious. Ambition is not a bad thing, is it? No. If ambition is pursued the right way, there's nothing negative about it. And it's good to be ambitious. Otherwise, things will just pass you by. Well, I must congratulate you for coming out in flying colors. I know your mother was very happy. Yes. from a job that keeps you busy and pays most of your bills. You were already asleep when I came back, so I couldn't even tell you the outcome of my visit to Gaius. I'm all ears. He asked me to resign and come to work as a secretary. He offered to pay me 12000 a month. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. If it was where your mother was strong, eh, I would have done some dancing for you now. <laughs> eh? That man is a sin too. Yes, ma'am. Mommy, that's not all. Uh -huh. Do you know he promised to sponsor my university education to the latter? Telling you he did. Chukun na bini igwe. Chuna ke bini igwe. Chuna ke bini igwe. You have to invite that man to this house. I need to shake his hand. I actually need to embrace him. Yes. What is it? Give me the key. Uh, please, I'm, I want to see Uncle Gaius. Gaius is not yet back. But anyway, if you have any message, you can drop over me. I'm his fiancée. He, he... Oh. Um, okay. You mean he hasn't told you about me? Uh, mm, not exactly. Uh, no, he did, he did. It's just, um... Well, I, I didn't think I'll, I'll meet you so soon. Yes, um... Uh, anyway, I'm Miriam. I'm Miriam. He's my benefactor. I know. Okay. He told me about it. Okay. 
Anyway, you can come in and sit down and wait for me. No, 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 no. I, I didn't even intend to stay long at all. Um, I just came to give him a message from my mom. She says she wants to see him in her house. Just that? Yeah. Okay. I'm Jamila. Jamila? Your house, sir? Yeah, Southern Zara. Okay. Um, thank you. Nice to meet you anyway. Same here. Okay. You're back. Did you see him? No, I... Instead, I saw a lady there. Um, I dropped a message with her. She introduced herself as his fiance. Give me the message. Come, come, Mary, come. Sit down. Hola. You sound like a broken fruit. Walking in. Does the fact that uh, Caius has a fiance disturb you? Yes, ma'am. Please. Hmm? You have to be contented with the financial help that he's given you. Miriam, do not ask for his heart. That would be too much to ask God to give to you. It's, Mom, it's not like I'm disturbed with the fact that he has a fiancé because I'm falling for him or I'm jealous. It's not that. It's just, you know women now, she could spoil things. She could ask him to stop helping me out. But does Gaius look to you like the kind of man a woman would convince to do what he does not want to do? Eh? If it comes to choosing between helping me and listening to his woman, I don't know which one he would choose. But he hasn't done it yet, has he? I hope she just gives him the message. She will be in. She will give him the message. All right? sister's father and mother at the same time. When she died as a, as a result of an abortion, I felt it was my fault because I was so busy chasing money that I had little time to take care of my sister. Mm -hmm. But let me not bore you with the story of my life. Let's just say that um, when I saw Mary Ann crying so helplessly by the roadside, I Something just told me to take her like my own sister and solve whatever problem was making her cry at that particular point in time, especially as I now have the money. And Chioma, my own sister, is no longer around to enjoy it. May our soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. What I'm doing for your daughter is from my heart. Nobody forced me to do it. I do not want any reward from anybody. My only happiness will be to see that she grows up to become somebody tomorrow. That's all I want. God has blessed you already. I just pray that he will bless you tenfold more. Eh? Thank you. The food is here. Ah. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble. Mary, stay and eat with us. Let me get what you You're not part of the family. And you should eat with us. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless us. Yes. 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 Yes.
Are you okay? I'm fine. I just have a little bout of malaria fever. No, no. Sit down, sit down. Don't bother about the drink. Um, you are fine. Have you eaten? No, I have lost appetite for regular food. I wish I could have something light and hot. Uh, light and hot, like pepper soup? Yeah, yeah, okay. like, like pepper soup. Is there anything in the fridge? Fish, meat, anything? There's some meat and some other condiments in the fridge. Let me quickly make a recipe for him. Okay, you will take home. Okay. Sorry, yeah? Okay, thank you. Staying back and and taking care of me, okay? But don't cry again, okay? I'm feeling a lot better. Um, don't you think you should be going home now? Your mother will be very worried about you. No, she won't be worried. She knows I'm here. You're sure? Still, I think you should be going home, you know, so that um, 
at least you'll know that you're all right. Okay. Okay, but not until you fall asleep. Okay, I'll soon fall asleep. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> Do you think your mother will be happy about this? About what? You know, she'll, she'll frown at this. She might think it's not proper for you to have spent the night with me here. <laughs> don't worry, my mother won't mind. I mean, you're ill and I don't see what's wrong in my staying back to help you care for you. So, you're my benefactor, the least I could do. Do you want me to go? Yeah. You have to go now. At least let your mother know that you're all right. Got your slippers? No, uh, I want to take a bath first. You, you slept in his house? Yes, ma'am. But that is not proper now. Nothing wrong with it now. He was sick. He needed my help. And before I knew it, it was too late for me to come home, so I just stayed with him. What did you do for him? Are you a doctor? I cared for him. Mommy, one good turn deserves another. I made his food, made sure he ate. And then took him into bed. How are you today? I'm fine. Bring me my appointments for today. on Indiana Group. Okay. And uh, this letter came from Pan-Saharan Veterans. 
Um, they say they want their catalog ready latest 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Something about somebody traveling abroad with it. Pan Saharan again. I have told them to stop giving me the matching order. Besides, they should have given me an earlier notification of this. Mm. If you want, I can reply them postponing the delivery date. But that may cause them the contract and they may never come back to us again. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, I'll tackle it, but that'll mean working late into the night, amongst other things I have to do. I'm afraid that happens to be the only solution, sir. Okay, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I'll call you when I need you. Yes, sir. Marianne, you're still in the office. Yes, sir. I thought you might have gone home by now. No. Jeez. It's 9 p.m. and you're still in the office? I decided to wait, sir. I, I didn't want you to be here alone. <sighs> that was very thoughtful of you. By the way, Miriam, when will you be resuming lectures at the university? In two weeks. Two weeks. Miriam. Miriam. <laughs> I think Marianne has fallen in love with me and it's so intense that she can't hide it. This is somebody I took like my own little sister and now she's complicating issues. If Jamila finds out, she's going to make it very difficult for me to offer Marianne any kind of financial assistance again. Yeah, yes. Miriam is a very pretty girl. I admire her a lot. Uh, but she should realize that her affection put in the wrong place is affection wasted. Let her look for love elsewhere. I don't think love should be her focus now. She should concentrate on going to school and finishing her studies. When she gets to her final year, she can have a boyfriend. Girls, this is theoretical. Oh, well, the heart is never too young to feel that emotion called love. I pity her. <laughs> All these your theories on love, where did you get them from? <laughs> you know now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, she'll soon be going back to the campus and uh, she'll be too busy to think about me. <laughs> Gotta use my mind. <laughs> Why are you crying? Huh? I don't want to go back to school. I'll miss you. I don't want to be apart from you. I don't want to go back. Come here. Come here. Come here. Remember, this is about your future. Hmm? You can always come on holiday, but you have to go to school. Do you hear me? Marianne, 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 wait, wait, wait. Marianne, Marianne, wait, wait. Marianne, what? What is wrong with you? Don't you know you're like a sister to me? I don't want to be a sister to you. Marianne, kiss me, kiss me. Marianne, stop, stop, stop this! <laughs> Listen, from the very first day I saw you, I took you as my sister. And you will be nothing other than a sister to me. Get that into your head. I have a fiancé, don't you know that? Take me as a sister. Look at me, look at me, look at me as a woman, please. You're a woman, oh, yes. Please. Yes, you're growing into a woman. Please. Hey. Please. Gaius, please. Gaius, please. Stop this, Gaius, please. Stop this. Look, look, look. Take this check and go back to school. Gaius, please. Uh, Mary. Gaius, please. Kiss me. Kiss me now. Kiss me, please. Have you gone crazy, Mary? Mary, yeah. Take this check and go back to school quickly. Go, go, go. Go, go to school. <laughs>
As soon as your secretary com comes over, she can pick it up. Okay, thank you. at work yet? She hasn't come in today? Okay, as soon as she gets here, tell her I want to see her in my office. Okay. Miriam has still not come to work. No, sir. You can go. Thank you, sir. Having said this, I um, I expect to see you in the office tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow then. and dispatch all the business letters in this file and let me know. I don't think Marianne intends to come back to this office again. You do that right away and let me know. Thank you, sir. Okay?
your son has been missing. Eh? Yes. Ah, good afternoon. Don't quit me, Carlos. Come inside here. Come in. Stand there. Let him see you. The bush meat you shot with your gun has started to smell. What do you mean? What do I mean? Mr. Kindness. What I mean is that God has exposed the, 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 the wolf in the sheep's clothing. A man who pretends to have the, the interest of my daughter at heart. Meanwhile, all this while you have been sexually abusing her. Sexually abusing her? Yes. Marianne. Marianne is three months pregnant. Is that the university you promised to send her to? Marianne is three months pregnant? And she says I'm responsible? Ask her yourself. Marianne, is this true? Are you pregnant? That is not the issue. Okay? She is 12 weeks pregnant. The issue now is that she says, it is you. It is me. Marianne, did you say so? Kwobu. Eh? Yes. Okwabu. Okwabu, na kwea. Ana kwano. I cannot believe this. This is an embarrassment. This is a big embarrassment. That low down, dirty streets, auction. That inconsequential fool. That is the girl you just slept with, Gaius. For God's sake, Jamila, stop screaming. The girl lied against me. Don't you know me? Oh, I thought I knew you! Till you started playing Big Brother from Figure from nowhere. Then I realized I hardly knew you. Just maybe, Gaius. You can answer my question. Who the hell are you? Who are you? Who are you? A loose man? Who takes advantage of a loose girl? Pretending to be helping her. A real fellow. Who cannot avert his eyes when a skirt is pulled open? That's who you are? Tell me. Ha! Ah! Well, mm. does it matter anymore who I am since your mind is already predisposed to the negative? Then let me tell you something. Right now, I am a man who is being falsely accused by everybody, including the woman he loves. No That's sense! who I am no now. No sense, Gaius! I want rubbish! As far as I'm concerned, that girl leaves this house today. Is 
Jamila, open that door and let that girl in. Open what door? Come and open it yourself. Open it yourself. You can't throw out a pregnant girl like that. It's a heartless thing to do. You can't throw out a pregnant girl like that. So you're now feeling for her. Come and open the door for your bed mate. Gaius, Wallahi, if you open that door and let that bitch into this house, I am walking out of your life for good. Don't dare me. This is not a matter of daring you, Jamila. And you what a bitch that's what? What is the matter with you? Because if that girl stuck a foot in my house, I am walking out of your life for good and I mean it. question I asked you before. What do you intend to do with our daughter, Miriam, who you impregnated? Exactly what do you wish to hear from me? I have told you I am not responsible for your daughter's pregnancy, yet you insist that I am. Well, since you are so sure that I'm, I'm responsible, let's wait for her to put to bed. Then we'll do a DNA test and find out who is truly responsible. DNA give me. In Amkwa. Meanwhile, you wish the girl to stay in your house. Exactly, since her mother has rejected her. <coughs> my son, my son, your speech is very good. But we have to follow tradition. You cannot take a wife for a free, bring us wine or hot drink. We will drink and we will bless you with the blessing of the old people. Exactly. And it will be well with you. <laughs> Who's talking about taking a wife here? You people do not understand me. I have not said I wish to marry her. I'm only allowing her to stay in my house on humanitarian reasons. That's all. What is humanitarian in this matter we are talking about? You impregnate our daughter. And you are talking about uh, humanitarian reasons. Is humanitarian reason the bride price? I beg your pardon. I beg your own pardon. This is not a quarreling matter. Calm down. Look, you people should not make the mistake of taking me for granted. Don't take my kindness for granted. This is getting too far. Get in Get to buy one email. Is he taking you for granted? Get your before one. Get in You must marry her. You come to my house and embarrass me because of your daughter who is telling lies against me. Tell me what lies? Is she not pregnant? Eh? Is Am I responsible? You said you are not pregnant. Am I responsible? What is it? What is it you are on? Eh? Is, it, is it because of this girl that you don't want to marry her? Eh? You must marry her. Deserve these lies. Is this the way you wish to pay me back for the free gift of brotherliness, care, and help? Marianne. Put the devil to shame and tell me the truth. Tombra is here, he's a witness. Who got you pregnant? Tombra, maybe she'll listen to you. 
fact, I am confused. She can't be telling lies. And Gaius, I have known you for a very long time. You don't normally tell lies. Honestly, I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. I'm confused. Confused. <laughs> Guys. So Marianne is still in your house. So you're still harboring that girl. And you tell me you're not responsible for her pregnancy? Jamila, I wish you would just believe me. You know I wouldn't lie to you. I have not for one day lost it after that girl's body. Not for one day have I. Then be bold enough to ask her to leave your house. The fact still remains that she is pregnant. And a pregnant girl needs a roof over her head. I... I just can't get the memory of my late sister out of my mind. Uh. She was in secondary school when she accidentally got pregnant. And in the process of committing an abortion, she died out of neglect. If she had had more care and a roof over her head, she might have been alive today and I wouldn't be the brotherless and sisterless man you're seeing right now. Now, Another girl who is close to me is in the same predicament. And for me, it's an opportunity to do what I couldn't do before, save a life. If harboring her under my roof will lead to saving her life, I'm prepared to do it. Even if in the process, I smear my face in the dust. I don't, I don't care much about that. This is blackmail. This is blackmail, girls. This is blackmail. Well, I can see you've made up your mind. You've chosen who you, who you want. But for me, girls, I'm leaving you. And this time around, I made it. Is it that you're responsible for that girl's pregnancy or you're stupid? But for me, I'm leaving you for good. And I mean it. It's not, it's not the best option. It's not necessary. <laughs> Jamila. So how are you? I'm fine. Your people got Gaius arrested by the police in his office today. Arrested? Arrested? Why? Oh. oh God, God, help. 
Oh god. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't keep up with this line. I can't do this. What if they get to know that I'm the one who got you pregnant? What do you think will happen? Huh? Tell me, what do you think will happen? Gaius will drive us away. I don't have a house. Are you ready to sleep with me at the bus stop? That is why you have to keep on saying he is the one. When I buy time and figure out a way for both of us. Okay? Are you going to bail him? I'm saying I'm trying to figure out what to do next. So you will not bail him? I'm not saying I will not bail him, but it will not be today or tomorrow. Young girl, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Shouldn't you be in school at this time? I was in school, but they, they dropped me out of the exam hall. Uh, here is 11,000 Naira to cover her tuition and exam fee. That is good, but we don't receive cash in this office. So you have to go to the boss's office and pay and obtain a receipt which you will present to the exam supervisor. That's the routine here. Okay, I'll do that right away, but um, that seems to be a long process and I know it will eat into her examination time. I was wondering, would you mind giving her a written authorization to go ahead and do the exam while I go and see the boss? Well, I'll gladly do that. Tombra? 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 What is it now? Tombra, I can't sleep. I can't sleep, Uncle Guy, this is on my mind. I can get out of my room. Get out! One little touch, the next thing you lie down on your back and make me betray my friend. Eh? And you are not telling me you can't sleep. You think everything is rosy for me as well. Eh? My friend, leave my room, Joe. It's not like that. No, I, just, I just wanted to get him jealous. I, I wanted to get back at him. By sleeping with me. My friend, leave my room. Ah, get out. Oh. Nah, fat, come, 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 come. 
let me warn you. Whether you are going to tell the truth or not, whether you cannot sleep or you can sleep, I don't want to find you in this room again. Get out, get out, get out! Ah! What I am trying to say with all this long story Sitting around the bushes, that um, Gaius is not responsible for my pregnancy. Hey! Say again. He has never slept with me, never. He never even suggested it in any way. If it is not Gaius, who is it? Stonebrand. His friend, the one that squats with him. Oh my God, I have wronged an innocent man, a good man. How could you, Marianne? How could you? I didn't want to be with Ombra. I wanted to be with him. Oh, hey! I knew it, I was pregnant. And I was confused. I could not tell my mom. And I wanted to tell you, but you will not let me. You said you would chase him out of the house. And I was afraid. I did not want you to be disappointed in me. So. Forgive us, please. Forgive all the bad things that I said. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know any better. If not for this idiot, I am not pay my back. you are a goat. Look at your size. Big for nothing. Eh? Look at the little girl that you're sleeping with. I don't even know how you manage it. Didn't you think you could have killed her? Okay. What kind of man are you? Okay. Couldn't you look for somebody that is, a, is as mean as yourself? Mom, it's okay. Can you can you can you can one more while you fresh my life? It's okay. It will not Go serve, ahead. It won't serve any purpose anymore. Please, it's okay. Um, I thank God that finally the cat is out of the bag, along with various other pussies. And as a result, Jamila, my fiance, is back in my life. So I'm in the mood to forgive everybody. And I actually have forgiven everybody. However, Tumbra, you will not spend another night under the same roof with me. You have to go and find some place else to squat until you can find a place of your own. There's no telling what more harm you can do given another moment of weakness and temptation. Guys, guys, we are still friends. Please, we are still friends. Don't let this little girl come in between us now, please. I know we are still friends, but for now, you have to find some place else to squat. Madam, I, I thank you people for not keeping the truth from me. Miriam is still my little sister, and I bear her no grudge. I bear you no grudge. Whatever I can do to assist her, I will do that. But please, 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 do not even think about abortion. Do not even consider that option. Because I do not want what happened to my little sister to happen to her. Please. 
Miriam, you heard what I said. Huh? In spite of everything, you're still my sister. Anything I can do for you, I will do. Whatever you want me to do for you, don't hesitate to tell me or let your mom tell me. In spite of this thing that has happened, don't forget your studies. You must finish school. Huh? I'll be happy tomorrow to hear that even with this thing that you're going through, that you finished your school and that you've become somebody in life. Okay? Take care of yourself, huh? Did I say I didn't believe you? You didn't have to say. Um, I think we have postponed this thing for too long. What? A wedding date. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're not joking, are you? I'm very serious. No, you're not. Are you serious? I think we should fix a date. Now, do it now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I love you so much. Thank you. Me too. I love you. Love you so much. Okay. I'm glad we're back together. Same here. And um, so I'm going to be Mrs. Gaius. 